Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, Lady Shuriel here. I'm talking to you right now about food. Remember that this is a reproduction list. Um, so you might want to watch this from the beginning, although I try to make each video so that it makes sense. However, uh, you know, sometimes it will make more sense if you watch it from the beginning. So anyway, uh, before I continue, I wanted to remind you that down below is my email in case that you want to help me out. You can do that by, you know, uh, PayPal, um, Amazon gift card. I have uh, an Amazon wish list in a couple of videos in this channel. And um, I also have some books in Gumroad if you want to take a look at that. Now, <clears throat> here we go. Um, I have told you before that food is one of those topics that will either make you or break you. So right now I'm going to talk to you about several things that are, are related to that and some recipes and some other things that you might want to take a look at. Uh, if you don't know what is Sampa, as in um, S-A-M-P-A, -A, Sampa, then you might want to take a look at that and you might want to figure out how to make it by yourself. Um, Sampa is an, an emergency ration food that you can make by your own recipe. So it's kind of like the ceviche or, or the other things that I have mentioned in the other videos. Uh, each person and family will have its own recipe. So the good news is that when you make Sampa, it can last up to, you know, oh, you know, 10, 20 years, no problem whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't require, uh, you know, a lot for uh, to be, you know, okay. Um, it also has a hell of a lot of calories on it, depending upon, you know, exactly what you put in it. And um, the good news is that it can be done with fairly very little ingredients. Um, it's a Tibetan kind of food. You know, I think its origins is in the Tibet. So, you know, those people, they have problems because they have very long winters and uh, they have to survive on food, you know, for a long time. So, yeah, they probably will know, right? So, you know, you might want to take a look at that one. Um, also, um, when you're talking about uh, food with your partner, you got to remember that certain topics, you are not going to talk about it, but you're, it's going to be implicit. Like, um, you know, like when I told you about the in the other video that... Um, you you know, certain foods will make you poop faster, certain foods will make you not poop that fast and things like that. So um, it, it, this is a topic that most people will avoid. And if you avoid them, then, um, you know, if you avoid talking about it, not avoid the topic, but uh, avoiding talking about it, you might have fights with, with the people that, that, you know, you're trying to help. Uh, let me explain this. Uh, because, you know, I, I don't have a husband right now and I don't have a boyfriend or anything like that. But um, I have been making lines for a very long time. And, um, you know, there, were there was a time in which there was a woman. Oh, my God. She was, you know, commenting about this topic with me because, you know, I don't know what I have. But apparently people like talking to me about weird stuff. So she was she felt comfortable, you know, about talking to me about this topic. And um, she was laughing, angry, and she was complaining about, of course, her husband, because here's the deal. She avoided giving him uh, coffee with milk in the morning every time that, you know, they had to go out. Because obviously, you know, some people, if they drink uh, coconut milk, they will go, you know, directly to the bathroom. Others, uh, if, you know, they can't go to the bathroom unless they have, you know, coffee with milk or uh, coffee with something hot or whatever at, at certain times. And it's like a routine thing. So uh, she noticed that about her husband or whatever. So she stopped, she, you know, she stopped giving him that so that he doesn't have to go to the bathroom and stuff because she feels embarrassed, you know, when the guy has to, you know, do that in tall grass and stuff and, and crap, you know, it, 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 yeah. So, 
she did that, you know, on purpose. And then the guy uh, just goes outside, and as soon as he gets out of the house, he spends money buying the same thing that she is trying to make him stop drinking or eating. So, to, it's like, okay, in your house, that, that, let's say that, that, you know, you drinking the coffee with milk is costing you 50 cents. But if you're going to take it outside, it's going to cost you $1, and sometimes $2. So, it's just like, I'm trying to make him understand the point and he doesn't get it because he's a freaking guy. And then I'm kind of like, I, I know. Because guys do not get it. Yeah, I mean, uh, come on, guys. It's just, guys' brains, as in the men's brains, they are different. They are not meant to pick up, you know, small things and think about it. Oh, hell no. It, you know, it, it tried to, and by the way, this is a very good thing because try to imagine if all the, if the whole planet was only women. Oh hell, we'll go, we will go extinct by by one day, but by probably day two or three. But you know, uh, uh, men are different. So of course he didn't get it, and of course the guy is pissed with her because she stopped giving him that, and he likes it. So, of course, he's spending the money that they don't have on that thing. And now she's pissed because he is still going, you know, in the middle of the tall grass or whatever, because there is no bathroom when you go to the making the, make the freaking lines. And he's a guy. He doesn't care. I know. So, um, so yeah, do you, you are going to have to make the conversations because guys do not get it. Okay. I'm sorry, but they are guys. They are not men to get it. It's like when you get a new haircut or something and the guy doesn't even notice. Or 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 when you are trying to tell him something or 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 something. Oh hell no, guys, do not talk. It's like it's like when you need the guy to talk to to you know your son or, or about sex. He's probably just going to go, yeah, and going to hire a hooker or something for him because you know, I'm not talking to him. Oh hell no, guys are not talking. So if you want to talk, you as a woman, I probably have to do the first part, and that is going to be very fun, like I said, <laughs> to try to do. Uh, because your family is not going to be very happy with you. Um, let me give you another example, but this time with kids, because, you know, oh hell, I know about this one, because my mother is... Yeah, my mother is all... Yeah, my mother and I fall fight about it, because... I'm trying to do the opposite of my mother, but my mother is, yeah, she's a spoiler kind of the deal with my daughter. So, yeah, you know, we are fighting. And the, the thing is this, um, your kids have preferences for food. They don't have wants, they have preferences. And um, let's say that, you know, right now we are, my daughter is in love with a certain kind of yogurt brand. You know, that yogurt brand, we buy her the freaking yogurt since she's a baby. And every time that we give her yogurt, there are like three brands that we tried. One of them, my daughter will go through it and then she will put the puppy eyes kind of like, can I have more, please, I really like it. And then I'm, I'm like, oh crap, that thing is expensive. So, yeah. But then you look at the puppy eyes and then you're like, oh crap, what the hell do I do? Because that thing is expensive. So um, then, you know, we, like I said, we tried three different brands and then the other brand, she goes kind of like, Duh? what is, is this? Is, like, is, is this what you call yogurt? What, what? No, you're lying. Kind of a deal, you know? She's like, uh, um, what the hell? Eh, no, hell no. And then there is a third brand that is kind of like, hmm, hmm, yeah, it's okay, I can eat it. You know, kind of like that. So um, for, for my mother, trying to get my daughter, the one that she is kind of like puppy eyes thing, oh hell, it becomes a priority because my mom wants to please her. And I'm sure that most, you know, most of you are with your kids the same as my mother. They are, you are like, yeah, I want her to have the, the best. I want her to have the, the brand that she likes. I want her to feel happy and stuff like that. And by the way, you will do this with your husband and you will do this with yourself also. But like I said, um, 
If we do that, because I will do that sometimes, not all the time, but oh hell, I will do it sometimes. Not in the not not about the 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 brand per se, but me, oh hell, in the in, in the quantity thing, oh hell, I'm consuming everything. Because like I said, I have an addiction for food. So my relationship with food is that one. So each person will have preferences in terms of their their taste and their things. And uh, as a woman, you you try to make everybody, f you know, uh, adapt to their preferences. But at this point, if you do that, you will certainly, you know, at any point in time, you are headed for bankruptcy because... Right now, if I was to buy that yogurt that lasts her maybe one or two sittings, okay, let's say two sittings, two sittings, that yogurt is five dollars, five freaking dollars for two freaking sittings. To put it into perspective, I can buy my daughter ice cream uh, and I can buy her five or six ice creams with the same five freaking dollars so you know and we can go out with five dollars my mom me and my daughter can sit down and eat ice cream together and still have a little bit of money to buy something else for the three of us for for when we go out so if we go out during the weekend you know we spend the five dollars for the three of us or I go and buy that for her and she's going to, you know, just drink it. And then she will be kind of like, yeah, I want more or maybe tomorrow or whatever. And then that's it. You know, with nothing else. So you are going to face these kind of decisions. But this time, sometimes it will not be $5. Sometimes it will be $10 for the same freaking thing. And it will be kind of like um, when when you're going to buy, uh, I don't know, a special kind of uh, dressing for your salad. Oh, hell, that thing can cost you $10. If you buy a dressing for your salad, it can cost you that much. And you can do your own dressing salad. I know it's not going to be the same and it's not going to feel the same or whatever. But... The point is that with $10, you can buy, you know, uh, let's say three kilos of potatoes. Oh, hell, three kilos of potatoes is a lot of food for your family. And it will be for everyone, not just, you know, the, 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 the thing for the salad. And uh, it is, it's, 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 this is going to be a thing. Your emotions are going to overwhelm you. Me? Oh, hell, I'm not buying for brand. I'm buying for price, but I'm buying for quantities. And I, if I buy uh, three packages of, of olives or, or, or three packages of, of something that I like eating, yeah, my mother can make that thing last maybe a month. Me? Oh, no, hell, I'm eating all of that in probably one sitting by watching the freaking TV. And then I'm, I, I, I just need more. <laughs> Because I'm watching the freaking TV and I'm eating all the olives and I'm eating all the cheese and I'm eating everything. Because I'm watching TV and I don't care. And I will go broke because of that. Because I, then I will have no more food after one day. And that's why I tell everyone that, oh my God, food is going to break you. Because 80% of people will not be able to manage this problem. Because you... It, changing your preferences... It is going to take a hell, and I don't mean a hell, of, of, of a lot of, of, of self-discipline and self, uh, you know, self-containment and self, you know, aware and self-everything. And at this point, you are going to be fighting with whoever is the one that is handling the money. Which, by the way, that might be yourself. And if you're buying this... It because you are angry or because you are you you know you're treating yourself or whatever because you feel that, that that you deserve it, then you're going to end up in worse positions. Because then you know that you're doing the wrong thing because you are you are putting money where it is not supposed to be putting, 
and uh, and remember money is an energy energy source and and it will associate itself with the emotion that you put into it so now you will have a scarcity mind because you will feel that money is not enough and then that the scarcity mindset will go into your head it, it will apply to food and then it will apply to detergents and then it will apply to absolutely everything and then you're going down to hell and by the way you're dragging your entire family with you including your husband by the way if you have a husband and he's the one who is providing the money they, you're blaming him and uh it, it, this is going to be like a thing because it, most people are going to start fighting because of this and at this point you need to put the brakes if you make room for preferences over over uh over the actual needs then basically your preferences will take all of your energy and at that point yeah, you are probably going to be facing divorce and family destruction and everything because of the freaking topic about food. So you have two choices. Either you learn how to help to control yourself, which me? Oh, hell no, I'm not doing it. That's why I have my mother. And that's why I live with her. Oh, hell no, I, I, you know. Like I said, I have, you know, I'm not changing my relationship with food. If I have to change my relationship with food, then I will probably go to choice number two. Choice number two is you leave. I'm sorry, but you move. Like literally, figuratively and, and physically speaking, you leave and you move with your entire family to a place where you can actually buy whatever the hell you want with whatever money that you have and you will be okay. Because if you stay, you need self-control. Because if you keep, you know, if you have only $100 for your entire month and you spend $80 in, in food that will last you a week just because you wanted it, then what the hell? You just make your entire family bankrupt. Your third choice is you let, you give a, you write down a list and you give it to, you know, you give it to your husband. Because, yeah, men suck when it comes to dealing with branding and choices. Yeah, they will take forever to do the shopping, by the way. But, yeah, they will be kind of like, what am I looking at in here? Yeah, I have seen guys, men in supermarkets, when they have the list that, that their wives give them. It's like, this is the other ones. Yeah, it just says the other end, but uh, there are like 25 kinds of the other ones. What the hell? Yeah, they will take forever. However, they will pick, they will probably pick the cheapest with most quantity. They, they will be choppers kind of like me. And um, they will be different. However, if, if they come home with whatever the hell they come, if you don't have self-control for, you know, screaming the hell out of him because he didn't get the brand that you wanted or he didn't get the, the thing that you wanted, you know, then don't involve him because you're going to put all your emotional baggage into him and then the two of you are fighting and then you will have a divorce. You are headed towards divorce. And I can assure you that during hard times, you know, handling the 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 headaches of, of divorce and handling the headaches of, of breakups and handling that is is way 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 worse than you you know having to deal with this one so this is a topic that even though it's hard you need to figure out how the hell